And so finally, a little bit of British military boxing to close the show. So I'm going to be basing these techniques off a British boxer called Freddie Mills, who's a man with a very colourful background, very colourful history. But Freddie Mills was known as a less than artful boxer, but he was still a British champion, a multi-weight champion, a ferocious, fearless boxer. And I'm going to show you some of the characteristic elements of Freddie Mills' boxing. So one of the first things I'm going to show you is Freddie Mills' hinge hook. So Freddie Mills tended to throw hooks that relied on the collapsing hinge of the elbow. So he'd get quite close to the opponent and then use the hinging strike of the elbow to get the knuckles across the jaw. And he'd typically do that with a lean. So he'd lean and then hinge over. So he wouldn't throw a solid kind of sunny listed hook closing the door. He'd lean and hinge that blow across like so. So we're going to practice Freddie Mills' hinge hook. So he leans and he extends that left to the body. That can be a striker, it can just be a distance range. Okay, here, he has his right hand slightly out here. He raises his body weight towards the left as he hinge hooks around the jaw. Now for self-defense purposes, obviously that hinge hook can easily become an elbow too, so it's things to think about if you're looking at a combative system. But Freddie Mills would dip and jab and hinge hook right around the face. And often he caught people with the forearm as well because he's a right dirty bastard. So from here, he'd get himself nice and low, he'd check the body and then hinge hook. From here, check the body and then hinge hook. Just move on for you. Check the body and lean. Then move diagonally as you clock these knuckles across the jaw in that hinging motion. And he found that this tended to wrap its way around opponents' guards, catch people by surprise. It comes from an orthodox field of boxing. It's not the tight, disciplined boxing that we get used to, you know? Rather of that business with Freddie Mills, he hit you in the gut or kept you low and hinge hooked you around the face. The important thing to think about is where my body weight is going. My body weight goes to the right, and then it goes to the left as the hinge hook comes in. So, an important shot from Freddie Mills. Next one is named after British World War II grenade called the Mills Bomb. Okay, Freddie Mills, Mills Bomb, makes sense. So, Mills Bomb's like this. Again, he drops and he keeps that forward pressure on the opponent's torso. Okay, and he cocks out a hand here, which typically would be frowned upon in boxing. You know, you told keep your guard in sight. Even when people with longer guards, they tend to be out here, or in traditional kind of European boxing, we're out here. Freddie Mills would lean and crouch, but he would cock out his right hand here, almost like he's lobbing a grenade, a Mills bomb, okay? So he's, he's stopping the opponent closing in, he's holding this hand here. And his Mills bomb is thus, that he holds this here, and he throws an overhand shot, thumb down straight into the face, like he's lobbing a grenade over a trench. So here, he's keeping the range, he dips, and now he hinges down, okay? So he crashes that straight down onto his opponent. Typically, it's followed by a left hook. So here, Mills bomb, big left hook, okay? And he'll throw a big looping left hook. He won't care for the technique of it. He'll just completely smash it in. So we're gonna practice the Mills bomb, but the main bit is he's like he's cocking a grenade. Ready, position one. Position two, the Mills bomb. It's that initial cocking position, smash it here. He knew that opponents would get particularly savvy to this, so he threw an alternate version where it looks like he's firing the Mills bomb and in fact firing up a cut. So he's here, he cocks it out, the opponent thinks he's gonna fire the over the top, so they raise their hands up high, and then he'll launch that right hand up a cut straight the jaw. So from here, traditional Mills bomb. Unorthodox, he goes down low and he whips this long range right up a cut. Interesting stuff. And the next one is Freddie Mills' close range cross. Now Freddie Mills, because of the way he boxed, he was a bit of a swinger. You know, he's a fearless man, he had a solid chin. He'd come in 
and his hands, a bit like I showed you in the Mills bomb, he'd cock out, so he'd take them out that immediate peripheral vision of the opponents, which may seem unscientific, but if it's outside of the field of view, it can catch you with an orthodox angle. That's why that hinge punch and that Mills bomb caught a lot of people and put them to sleep. With his cross, he'd get to a point where an opponent couldn't expect a cross. I'm gonna do it southpaw just so you can see here. So in this instance, my left hand is my right cross, just so you can see. He'd get himself close to the opponent. So if I'm facing on, it's circle, so he's facing directly across their jaw. And he would fire across. So if you imagine, instead of a cross being here, he'd fire there. He would fire across your face. So he steps in close, he then fires that shot across the jaw. And it works. A lot of people, as soon as you get to a certain range, only expect hooks and uppercuts. But sometimes those long range shots can A, knock people out of that range, and two, catch them by surprise because they don't expect the 16 inch shore guns to smash them. They're expecting the machine guns, they're not expecting the heavy artillery. So we take a deep step in. Okay, so we deep step in, we turn, so we're facing across the opponent, not into them, across, and we blast this shot straight through. So as he turn, step, cross. From there. And again, he'd keep his head right tucked into his opponent. From here. And then he'd be straight here, ready to throw one of his characteristic Mills bombs, body shots, whatever. He was a tough, dirty, gritty, visceral fighter, but his close range crosses caught people side on. We did it from this side, we would smash people. So we'd get from here in front of the opponent where he's in that danger box of being hit, step off line and smash him across the face. And he'd also typically use a vertical fist while he's doing it. A leftover from earlier bare knuckle boxing and lighter glove boxing of the era. So using a vertical fist, stepping across and smashing the opponent across the face not into the face. Just to make that point very clear, a normal cross comes into the jaw. Bang. <coughs> Whether it's close range <coughs> or long range, <coughs> goes into the jaw. Freddie Mills would cross you across the face from here. So you would get nice and close, turn a corner, <coughs> punch you across here, because then you can get nice and close and do more damage with other things. So that's some of the boxing techniques of Freddie Mills but his characteristic is that Mills bomb stance, pushing against the body, then keeping this a wild variable. Goes up top with a Mills bomb punch, with a hinge hook, with a sneaky long range uppercut, or whether he turns the corner and hits you with that close range cross across the face. Those are some of the boxing techniques of Britain's Freddie Mills. Cheers.